Hello there, and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about the online English language lessons we offer. Last Sunday was England's first game in the European Championship. Um, strangely, it's called Euro 2020 um, because it was supposed to be held last year but was postponed because of Covid. So we have this weird experience of having Euro 2020 in 2021. Anyway, last Sunday was England's first game and as luck would have it, we were pitted against Croatia, who knocked England out in the semi-finals of the last World Cup. So there was a bit of revenge required. I watched the game with my son and beforehand he asked me who I thought was going to win. And I said, listen, I don't want to jinx things. So I'm going to say Croatia. As it turned out, England won. So maybe my strange sporting superstitions actually did the trick. If you say you don't want to jinx something, you mean you don't want to cause a team or a person bad luck. One of my students this week was talking about her six months old son and she said, oh, he's been great recently. He's been sleeping through the night. In fact, he's sleeping now. And at that exact moment, he suddenly started screaming, to which she replied, oh no, I've jinxed it. Jinx can also be a noun. So if there's a particular family, like the Kennedys, for example, who seem to have suffered a disproportionate amount of luck, you might say, there must be some kind of jinx on that family. If your computer has crashed three times in one morning, you might say, ah, oh, there seems to be some kind of jinx on this computer. That's the third time it's crashed today. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button, the thumbs up sign. It helps us with the algorithm. Um, please do share the video with your friends, your colleagues, your students. And in the comments section below, we'd love to hear examples of how you think you might use jinx as a verb or as a noun. 